Hey, how's it going out there? Um, we're going to work today on exercises number one and two out of the James Thompson uh, buzzing book. So the idea here is it's your basic warm up and it's going to start your sound and start your airflow at the beginning of the day. So when you hold your mouthpiece, number one thing to, to remember as you're holding your mouthpiece, hold it real lightly in your off hand. If you're right handed, hold it in your left hand out of the end of the mouthpiece with just your thumb and one finger or two fingers just real lightly out there we don't want to grip it up here by the cup and we don't want to grip it with all our fingers or a fist like that because that can put too much pressure on your lip and on your teeth and you can do some um, do some damage to your face that way and it won't allow your lip to to vibrate freely all right so with that in mind Grip the mouthpiece lightly in your left hand, and let's get into playing this first exercise. Number one, these are going to be long tones. I, When I practice these on my own, I like to just put a fermata over each one of these notes and hold it out for as long as I can. Uh, for the sake of this lesson, I'm going to put a metronome on, and I'd like to hold each note for 12 counts with the metronome. So I'm going to stick this metronome on over here. And that's going at uh, 72 BPM. And the way we'll do this is I'll play a 12 count note and then I'll rest for 12 counts for you to play. So when I'm not playing, you will fill in the hole. Here we go. One, two, three. <sighs> Alright, there's exercise number one. Um, something that I, I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, uh, make sure when you're buzzing on the mouthpiece, you start your sound always with, with your air, with a breath attack. We're not going to use our tongue on the mouthpiece buzzing uh, for right now. And the reason for that is this is your basic warm up, it's the start of your day. The most important relationship in your body when it comes to trumpet playing is the relationship between your breath and your lips. So if we get the tongue out of the way, get everything else out of the way, and we just go and we use our air to start our lips vibrating, that's going to give you the best results in your warm-up. Okay, so now we're going to go on to exercise number two. Now, this one, we are going to start using our tongue a little bit. And the way we're going to do that, we're still going to start the very first note with our air. But we have two more notes to play after that. We have two half notes and then a long tied double whole note. So this is going to sound like ah, ta, ta, eight. 
eight counts on that long note. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. I'll play it, and then I'm gonna give us give it a 12 count space for you to play along. Um, I'm gonna hold the mouthpiece in my right hand here so I get my left hand onto the right notes on the piano. Here it comes, exercise number two. One, two, three. <laughs> with your mouthpiece. For the last little bit of this routine, which is not gonna be on the video here, but you can do this on your own, or you can rewind the video and actually do this along with the video, with the section here on number two we just did, is you're gonna play that exercise again, you're gonna play number two again, but this time, instead of doing it on the mouthpiece, you're gonna do it on your whole instrument. You're gonna put the mouthpiece in the trumpet and play the same thing again on the trumpet. So what you're working on on this one is breath control, getting a big breath and being able to last through all 12 counts of each one of those phrases. That's a pretty long phrase to play on these low notes and low notes take a lot of air. So big breathe, uh, breathe big, breathe deep, breathe full, and then push through and try to try to use your core and your abdominals to get the air going all the way through the last sound of that note. All right. Thanks for your time today and uh, enjoy your practicing. I'll see you next time.